China's huge need for energy requires technology innovation for it to sustain sustainability, sustainably use its finite supply of minerals while developing other alternative untapped sources. We have this report. In the coal-producing northeastern province of Heilongjiang lies an abundant form of brown coal known as lignite, low in heat but high in water content. With an expected annual output of 10 million tons, lignite reserves are estimated to last over 80 years and create more than 5 billion kilowatt hours in power annually. But the burning of coal and other fossil fuels is blamed in part for the greenhouse gases accelerating climate change. That's why in the town of Baoqing, where the open pit lignite mine is located, the mine's power plant uses industrial technology such as electrostatic cleaning and desulfurization devices. These ensure that the coal that's produced is cleaner and a more cost-efficient energy source. We have plans to build a coal electricity chemical industrial park based around this project. It will not rely on traditional raw coal production, but will instead make use of clean energy and chemicals within lignite to extend the industrial chain, developing new industries. Research institutes are developing eco-friendly and cost-effective production plans for materials extracted from brown coal, including montan wax, which can be used for everything from leather finishes to waterproofing. As for mountain wax production, we first aim to fill the niche in the domestic market and then go global. After the coal is extracted and burned, even the residue can be used for mine land rehabilitation. The project is expected to revive Heilongjiang province by bringing in a value of 285 million U.S. dollars and over a thousand jobs. Meanwhile, in China's eastern Anhui province, scientists are on the verge of creating an unlimited source of clean, environmentally friendly energy. This intricate web of cables and pipes is an artificial sun. This reactor uses nuclear fusion technology, a process that naturally occurs in the sun when atoms of hydrogen fuse together to create helium, resulting in massive amounts of energy. China had a relatively late start in nuclear fusion development, but given our local government and central government's high level of attention in innovation, especially as our domestic processing and manufacturing sectors developed, it accelerated some of our processes. Nuclear fusion means limitless amounts of energy to power the world, minus the harmful greenhouse gases. But it's a difficult and expensive process. This is why China is partnering with other countries on the project, including the European Union, India, Japan, Russia, the Republic of Korea, and the United States. Fusion is not something that can be accomplished by one country. The nuclear reactor in Anhui has achieved several firsts. In 2017, it was the world's first facility to maintain proper conditions for nuclear fusion for longer than 100 seconds. Last year, the reactor achieved a temperature of 100 million degrees Celsius, six times hotter than the sun's core. Scientists hope to have the plant fully functioning by 2050, while building a separate reactor that can produce fusion power for commercial use. The quest for clean energy holds promise, thanks to technology.